All right, so today I got this, I believe, uh, early 60s, or early 70s, late 60s, Makula or Makolak or whatever this thing is. Um, basically, the story behind it is this thing's been sitting longer than I've been alive. Uh, it's been from one corner to the other in my garage. I've never seen it run. And my dad says he really doesn't know where it came from. He thinks it's one of his friends or something along those lines. But I know it's definitely old, and it definitely does have potential. Um, another thing that does confuse me about it is when you pull the recoil, it still works, but it doesn't, like, turn the motor. So I have no idea if one of the fingers, like, came off or something along those lines. But this kind of comes apart in a weird way. I mean, it's probably going to be right into the block as soon as I take this cover off so I really don't I really don't know but I've never worked on anything of this age except for a four-wheeler or a truck or something along those lines but I'm gonna see if I can get this thing to run this probably is gonna be a multi-part video because this thing needs a lot of work and it has been sitting for a long time so let me dig into this side cover here and see what I can find all right so I got all the screws out except this one right here on the top as you can see, I have no idea uh, what I'm going to do besides spray some WD-40 in there and hope I can get it out, but there we go. Alright, so I already got the cover loose and I got a ton of WD-40 on this thing, but it is giving me pure hell. I cannot get it loose or even anything. I cannot get it to turn at all, so I'm not sure what to do with that, but I do have this cover fairly loose. As you can see, you can go ahead and put the screwdriver in it. And it it's already coming off. Alright, so now what I got here is a recipe for disaster with this screw. But I don't really care. I'm just, I'm trying my best to get it out while I'm making a bowl of Cheetos, but we'll see what happens. Alright, so after a lot of work, I did get it out. So now the cover is pretty loose. I gotta get the rest of this handle off here somehow. Take those two out, that, which hopefully, which is probably not gonna come out. But it's getting closer now. Alright, so I got all the bolts cracked loose. Uh, luckily. Um, I don't know what kind of headache I'm getting myself into here, but at least now I have it somewhat apart here where I can take this handle off and get to the motor. Um, not exactly sure what to do about this. I don't think it'll make a whole lot of sense. I'm thinking that one of the fingers came off or something happened to it, but other than that, it seems to be, I mean, it ain't too far from somewhat decent shape. No. All right, so I got it apart. Got some rust on the flywheel. Um, definitely shows its age with a the crust on it. But I'm not exactly sure why that recoil is not engaging. Um, oh wait a minute, this. Oh, okay, I see what happened here. So it looks like this may have the plastic piece may have broke. I'm not sure, but something. That's causing this to not... Okay, it might be able to... This might be an easier fix than I thought, but it does look like a fuel line maybe broke there. I'm not sure. Mm, fuel line looks somewhat intact. All right. Um, I'm going to go ahead and see if I can get this recoil fixed. And then as soon as I can get the motor to turn over with the recoil, then I'll pull the carburetor off and see if I can get it to run. But until I do that, I am not touch I'm not even touching it. So here we go. All right, so believe it or not, this thing has some really solid compression, and now I can turn it over with the recoil, and it is working. Oh no, okay, well, I lied. Now it's already coming apart again. So let me take this off again here and see what happened to it. I don't know what, I don't know what could be wrong with it other than that plastic piece is just not sealing right, or it's not clamping on there good enough. Let me see here. 
All right, so as you can see, the plastic piece right here is not holding this tight enough. Oh, I see what happened. Okay, so right here, inside here, there's little, like, fingers and teeth. And as you can see on this thing, the plastic teeth broke off. So what I'm going to have to do here is I'm probably going to attempt to silicone this in there, which I know is not a very logical idea. And then probably just put a zip tie around it or something, but... Um, I'm not exactly sure. I know this is, this looks like the fuel tank to me, but I'm not exactly sure uh, how it gets fuel. There's not really any explanation of that. Um, maybe like a connector type deal. I'm not sure here. I'm going to have to... Uh, get a little deeper in this thing and find out, but as of right now, I'm going to try to glue this to make it work. Alright, so I got some JB Weld. I'm going to put some JB Weld in there to set up on the recoil, but I'd like to say, one of my last videos, I said to, uh, um, when something's been sitting this long for, you know, over 15 years, 20 years, whatever, it's probably a good idea to put some oil you know, in the cylinder one way or another through the exhaust port, you know, in the part in the plug hole in the intake. But on this machine, it's looking like that plug is not too bad, but I don't want to break it off in the cylinder. So I'm just going to not do that once I get the carburetor off. I'll put a couple dribbles of a, I think this is motor oil that's supposed to be mixed with the fuel in here. So I'll put a little bit of motor oil down the cylinder and then clean the carburetor. I think one of the lines is broke in the tank, which I kind of don't, I don't really know, because it doesn't look broke. Because you see how it has those, like, it's got like three dots on it, like it's supposed to be like that, and then I think it's supposed to go into this little tube thing here. But I'm not exactly sure about that, so I need to do, I need to take this thing apart a little further and figure it out. Alright, so I got my JB Weld setting up. Um, I'm pretty sure this is going to be the end of part one, and I will fire up part two in a couple minutes after this video uploads. Uh, thanks for watching and make sure you do watch part two. Um, I'm not sure if this thing's gonna run yet, but you already read the title of this video or the title of the next one and no. So, uh, see what happens. Thanks for watching.